Hello and welcome back to Stubble Debbie and this is episode 14 of my experimental of the 17 Let's Play series. Uh, it's Horde Night. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. We had four, four zombie cops on the first Horde. On the very first one, four zombies. Zo four cops. Uh, I think we killed the first one and then the other two exploded and then we might have killed the last one maybe I think it might have exploded too so yeah um, I think we have oh come on don't do this be good to me let me down <laughs> okay so I want to maybe go to did we leave our stuff and things our miscellaneous chest yes we did we got some money here i think this is stuff we wanted to sell that's tier three uh that um we might put that on that level six Oh, this is like a tech one. We can actually do that. That's tier two. Um, actually, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and grab all these because we have a new uh, chest up there just for those. We got a few electrical things up here. I don't know why I'm keeping those rebar frames, but let's take those. Um, we got a mini bike chassis. We should look into that maybe after the, the, the horde is done. Maybe we'll make a mini bike. We might be ready for a motorcycle by then. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so this is going to be our mod chest right here. Uh, that's a tier 2, so it's irrelevant. That's tier 2. That's tier 1. That's tier 1. Tier 3. Tier three, let's put the tier three all the way down here. And this will be our tier two row. Let me go to these were tier two. Uh-huh. Um, what about you? You're tier three and your tier three. And then we got a we had a couple here. We're not using a one-handed mod, but I wonder what kind of guns that can go into. Is that that's um that would be interesting if we were able to, you know, kind of a weapon. That would be nice. We need to sell all this stuff. Um, what I want to do is go to the trader and uh, we're going to put these repair kits down here in our tool chest. I want to see what kind of ammo the trader has because we don't have a whole terrible lot of ammo at the moment. Uh, which is bad because we got a horde coming tonight. Uh, and I don't really know what we got to do to get more ammo. So I've never played uh, Alpha 17 before. Well, I did a little bit, but not to the point where I was making ammo. So I was think I think it was about 40 or maybe 50, but I hadn't really... <laughs> Okay, so let's go, let's go to the trader and see what he's got. I know we were just over here, but we didn't. Okay, we really fucker. Looking. You respect the shop rules. It won't get along just fine. You need to watch your tone, mister. We're going to sell these running shoes, uh, the handlebars. We're not going to sell any of this stuff down here on the bottom row. Um, we have some gold nuggets to sell. We're getting close to the level... Let's go ahead and sell this wad of cash. Uh, okay, I think that's that's all we had to sell. Um, would that be under ammo? He's got some 9mm rounds, but I don't really want 9mm. I'd like some shotgun shells or... Um, like 10 gunpowder seriously maybe if he's got some coal we might buy it looking to buy in that 
duct tape and duct tape seems to be really important. Uh, I made I made a lot of the, the, the bones into glue and then the glue into duct tape and that's something we need to do today is to go over there and pick up all of those I don't I don't want to buy the I don't want to buy that stuff. Um, I wanted ammo. Uh, it looks like all he's got is the 9mm. That's a lot. That's a lot. We could use our, our submachine gun, I guess. That's 200 rounds. I don't think we even have enough for all that. That's 8 grand. We only have four. You know, I think I'll hold off. Oh, you, you want, want a guarantee? guarantee huh? Yes, I do well, want a guarantee. Maybe Thank you, you very much. Shamway. Maybe you <laughs> should just be quiet, mister. Or I will take my business as Shamway. So how what do you think of that, huh? Yeah, not too not too snappy now, are you? Don't got nothing to say. Oh, I was really hoping to have some ammo there. Boy. I mean, he had the nine millimeters, but I think we, that's like, we have tons of uh, nine millimeter. I think we got over a hundred rounds. Uh, let's go look. I'm pretty sure we have quite a bit. We still got time to go back over there uh, and get it if we change our mind. Yeah, look, we got over a hundred of the nine millimeter. 76 of that we just don't have very much of this and we don't have any lumps of coal Look, i found some more nitrate powder down in uh the underneath the under there um but i haven't found any like coal uh i did i did actually find a couple of uh a couple of nodes, like I think four of iron. Um, let me go show you. I got another section finished. Got this section over in this corner finished. Uh, I found a couple iron here and a couple iron in, in the wall. Um, so it might be uh, advantageous to maybe if, if we finish this room off to um, knock a hole in this wall and finish out and make another room over there. Uh huh. Um, uh, but I found a uh, nitrate over on these sections. So I don't know. It, you can't really tell by looking at it if it's nitrate or iron. I couldn't anyway. Uh, so <laughs> they, they looked the same. Um, I did get... Yeah, we need to. How how long is that gonna take? Five minutes. There we go. Uh, hopefully that'll get done, and it won't like do the thing where it does the thing with the thing. Um, I believe we got. I took the thousand um out of here and put it up here. Uh. <laughs> Actually, let's go. Let's go make these um, things, and we'll see if we can maybe put that. What what we can put in our sniper rifle? Because I might use the sniper rifle. I don't know how much does it hold. Because I had um, the 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 AK-47 seemed to do really well. I was able to do some single shots. Um, and I was happy with that, but let's see about this uh, rifle here. It looks like it holds five shots, which is good. You know what? Um, let's go ahead and repair this baby up because it's it's jacked. It's probably got enough durability. Oh yeah, one didn't even put it all the way up. It's got 8,800 durability. 
Okay, so let's see. Uh, if we modify this, can we put... Oh, we can put this in there. So this will... 20% uh, chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target. And it should increase the damage on the weapon. If you see the range damage up in the top, I'm pointing at the screen, even though I know you can't see it. <laughs> uh, that went from plus six to plus 12. So we get six more damage on that. Um, that's pretty nice. So let's try to make this muzzle break. And this, I don't know that we need the semi. Um, let's see, let's see what we can do. Uh, recipes, muzzle break. Uh, oh wow, that's a lot of forged steel. And I don't think he hasn't had steel on him. Uh, then I've noticed, is this one going to take 10? That one takes 5. But this sounds like it reduces the recoil. Let's look at that again. Diverts the propellant gases to reduce recoil. So that might be something that we we need, especially early on, to reduce the recoil. So I think it might be worth um, the tin steel to, to do that. And that'll give us more, more damage. Oh yeah, look at that. That's like the third of our steel. But I think it'll be worth it. Yep. And I think the rest of the parts are up. What I would like to do after we get this done. Oh man, I don't know what to do. It's going to be crazy. Okay, so oh, that sounds like um a zombert. Oh, maybe a horde. Oh, crap. Oh, it's just, it's just a lady. See how well that traps them? That is awesome. I did have like a wandering horde come through. Yes, she's down. I had a wandering horde come through. Uh, I saw the arrow. There it is. Um, they came through this corner and went over here. Um, they wound up breaking through a block here. So I went ahead and replaced uh, what I could with the poles. Uh, but they damaged a bunch of spikes. I put an extra row of these guys around. Unfortunately, they didn't come through the, you know, the two parts that had the landmines uh, and, and test those out for me. Of course, they couldn't do that. Um, don't be silly. <laughs> so let's go make this uh, make this thing. Well, the zombies don't distract us. Uh, two oil, two mechanical parts, and five scrap. Oh, there's our 24 landmines. <coughs> uh, I think there's a kitty trapped in a room. Let me free them. Let's free the kitty. Go, baby. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that. They were pawing at the, underneath the door to try to open it. That's what happens when the poor kitties get... Okay, uh, let's do this. Crap, a minute and seven seconds. Holy schmoly. Um, you know, if it increases the damage, maybe we do want to go and make that, but... Man, it's five more of our steel. We don't have that much left. I wonder, can I put that in my dagger? Let's let's try it. No, it's not. Uh, usually these little gears are green and flashy when you can put it in there. You can't. I think that's just for like um, the one-handed 
club. It's gonna put like barbed wire around it or something. Okay. So, oh, can he do that? Nope, you can't put it in there. You can't, oh, you can't modify this because it's a level one. Okay, so it looks like, what about this? Can I modify this? Yeah, it won't go in there. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Put it in my nail gun. Shoot you with the nail and you start to bleed. Nanner, nanner. Yeah. Okay. What I might want to do is I saw that you can make a compound bow. But anyway, let's check on our part here. Oh, it's done. All right, muzzle break. Yep, it's green. See how it's green and flashing? We just shift click that in there and that gives us plus 18 damage. Yes, and a 20% chance to cripple. That's awesome. All right, complete. Cha-ching. All right, so we can't do anything with this guy. Um... That is freaking awesome. We got five rounds there. Um, let's go ahead and put this back because we got a while yet to record. That is amazing. Um, I think we got to reload. There, put those tin nails back in there. <laughs> you never know when you might need it. Okay, so what I want to do first is to get these landmines placed. Um, strategically in each of the corners of, oh, we don't want to go down. I saw something that was really hurt. Oh, maybe it was that. I don't know. Let's go place these land. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, want, I made enough to put like three on each of these sides. Um, that's six for each corner. We can't put it all the way up against that wall, but if they do come through on those sides, <laughs> they're going to get a little bit of a surprise. And uh, we already had one of these go off on this side over here. We need to be careful because there are, there are actual landmines over there. Right there. Uh-huh. There we go. Last six. Oh! Ah, don't walk over it. Don't walk over it. There we go. So if they bust through on those corners over there, they're going to step on a landmine. Uh, these two corners have a couple of them sprinkled out. Maybe for the next horde, we'll have uh, even more landmines to set out. Gonna have to find a good source of coal, because uh, that's um, that's the limiting factor right now. Uh huh. <sighs> Sometimes that that horde that came through, they came through the middle. They didn't go to the side. So we're also going to have to come up with something for the guys that come, just come up the middle. I don't, I haven't seen them actually go to the corner there. So we might just leave that empty uh, for now until we see, see better how the horde is going to react. Um, we don't know which side it's going to come from. The last one came from like the north side. So, now that we got that done, I do have quite a bit of wood. That's all the wood I have. Oh man. I had a lot, <laughs> but I made a lot of spikes. I, uh, we got double spikes here. Boom, boom, ba -doom. Uh, I also used a lot making those barbed wire fences. Um, 
hopefully not too many of them will get wrecked. I, I also I did a boo-boo and I put them really close to this uh, ladder there. I don't like that. Um, I also, I don't know that I like it uh, that this is in the center. Normally I put them on the corner towers like there so I can have two on each side. That way if one ladder gets damaged, you know, I have the other one to go up. But the way this is set up, my pathway is going to be up the middle. So, uh, is, did something just spawn? I got a weird little bit of lag. That's generally what happens when something spawns. I thought about maybe putting <coughs> spikes all the way around. Uh, that's going to be a lot, a lot of wood. Uh, so let's run around and see what is going on. I thought I might have heard a zombie, but it was very faint. So if something spawned, it might, might be too too far away to uh, notice notice me and come forward okay also uh, we might have to demolish these two houses just because they're really close I don't know how the, the horde would react like uh, if they would even spawn over there um, what I would like to do I would like to do a lot of things, but I don't think I have time. Oh my god, it's already 11 o'clock. <sighs> okay, we're like six down. This will give us a little bit of food and a little bit of water. Uh, bump us up to full. Throw the can in there. I am so flustered right now. I don't. I don't really even know what to do. Uh, um, what I want to do is, I would like to get some uh, concrete, some wet concrete, to place <coughs> underneath here, uh, all along there. And maybe around this edge, since I'll probably have to dig that out to get to it. Or I might not, uh, at least on this side, because I should probably be able to hit that. Um, so what is that? Um, eight per side. So 32 blocks of wet concrete. We should be able to do that, no problem. We just got to have uh, the concrete on us. And we got to use this. Uh, so we want full blocks. Uh, can we do 32, please? We can. That's going to take a couple minutes. Awesome. Okay, so that'll be a little bit of... Oh, come on. Let me out. A little bit of reinforcement. I think we can... Yeah. I want all of this to be uh, cement. On this ring that would be nice uh, that would keep them a little bit from uh, if they dig I like to probably for the next horde work on getting um, this interior part cement and this uh, four out from our base all cement that would be really awesome can I can I dig you? Oh, I can. That is awesome. And all of these should be supported by our uh, our pillars that already have their foundation in the ground. Awesome. So now we should just be able to uh, give that a couple of minutes to make up our concrete blocks. We can come and place them. I was, I was thinking I was going to have to dig up... Um, this row of dirt in front of it, uh, but this is this is much much nicer. Uh, awesome, and that gives us a little more clay. 
Not that we're having problems with the clay. Oh man. Um, I have noticed, I watched uh, one of my videos and with the, um, one of my previous iron fire axes that I had, I was only getting like 150 per tree, but once I got to, uh, now that I have the steel one, I don't know if it's because of the steel axe, um, I don't think it is, but I think it might be that, that point of, that we put into the minor 69er, because since then I've started getting 200 from the trees. So I don't know if you get a bonus to gathering for getting points in that. Um, maybe we'll put a point into it real quick and then go uh, chop a tree down. Uh, do we have points? We didn't. I didn't check. Uh, so I'd like to put some more points into uh, this, but I want to test out the minor 69. Oh, we got two points in there, and we can't put one in until we get strength five, but we can buy that. Let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, for experimental purposes. Uh, probably not the best points to spend right before hoard. Uh, but let's go check it out. Um, I'm so curious to see if that's gonna, you know, increase your yield. So we were getting um, just at 200 and maybe, you know, sometimes I would see like a 202 or a 203. I don't know if the durability of your tool has anything to do with it and I, I don't have a steel on me to repair it so uh, these are all newly planted guys these look pretty mature over here so let's give them a go if it's uh, if it's the 1200 ones that's the ones we want to test All right, stamina recovered. What do you got? Yep, this is the 1200. It looks like we're getting 13 a whack instead of the 10 or 11. So that's a little bit better. And that's actually lower. It's lower. Uh, let's try another one just to see. We, you know, we're gonna use the wood anyway. It's lower. It's two in a row. Uh, that has definitely been because we were getting 200, and now we're getting 196. Oh, the backpack. Did we? Yeah, it's empty. So, I don't know. Do we got another one we can try? Looks like there's some more mature ones back here. Yeah, I think once they get this barky texture. Well, I don't know. That one has a barky texture, too. So, this is a 1200 again. And I can, uh, I can kill the tree on one bar of endurance. It looks like I don't, I, it was a waste of two points uh, for Horde Night. I can't believe it. Okay. So it's 1240. Let's let's go ahead and kill this tree while we're here. One more for testing purposes. But I don't think it's gonna give us more than 196. It seems like uh Oh, I did. I leveled up. We can spend a point in something useful now. <laughs> uh, I know you don't get a lot of experience for that, but seriously, you can plant a super mega farm uh, and have and go and clear it and make a level because you just have so many. Uh, 
over once it got nighttime, I went ahead and harvested the farm. Um, we're just we're done on like the cotton and the aloe, and as you can see, I have some first aid bandages. <laughs> That's uh like what I made from the farm. Um, the aloe is uh, completely grown. Uh, so, I mean, the plots that I have allotted for it are completely filled. Uh, so there's like 20 of them. Uh, I think I did... No. Uh, I think I am made more than nine, but I put them in the first aid chest. For whatever reason, um, I used the cotton to make... Uh, the bandages with uh, so I didn't use the other cloth got some more uh, Patotskis uh, we only need like seven of them to fill that up the golden rod is coming along oh this is the coffee the coffee is really slow because I can't just go out and harvest more of those you only find them in the cupboards and I've, I've made as much as I could so we got eight of them uh, so that should give us four seeds tomorrow. We got another row of mushrooms growing. Our chrysanthemum is almost full with one short. So we'll actually be able to make some red tea next time we harvest. <laughs> I've actually had enough to plant another blueberry. <laughs> it's going to take so long to fill that in. Our goldenrod is coming along nicely. We got three full rows. Woo and the corn is now filled up. Uh, I was able to make the few we needed like six or seven I think and we had more than enough to uh, to make that we had a little bit of extra corn everything else besides like the cotton and the aloe the yucca is almost full getting that double uh, yield helped out a bunch yeah <laughs> so I'm really hoping as I'm digging out those other two sections down there, you know, under there, that uh, we find some coal. That would be nice. Because we definitely need, we need the gunpowder. <laughs> we need landmines. Um, also, there is, can't we make a Molotov cocktail? Does that take gunpowder? Or just gasoline. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it does take oil, but we have some oil. It takes glass jars. I don't think I have very many empty glass jars. Oh, I do. Maybe we can make a few of those. And if we get like a bunch of them coming over to one side. We probably won't even need that many. Maybe we'll do like 10. 10, and that would use 10 of the oil. Oh, that's like a lot. I think you can, you make oil? Let's see, oil, oil. You can make it out of oil shell. We do have a desert nearby, so maybe if we dig down over there in our little, um, Hidey hole, uh, we might actually find some shale somewhere because that's where you find it is in the desert. So that's the only way to make it, it looks like. Yep. All right, so. Let's try to, we needed some gasoline and I think cloth. I think it was just one, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Now we need, it's 30 gas cans though. Woo! Yeah, 30 times 10 is 300, so we've got enough. Oh. All right, that's going to take a while, and that's just in our inventory, so let's 
put our gas back up. We do have 12 gas barrels and that's 600 per. So that's like 7,000 right there. That's nice. Okay, so we got our, our Molotov cocktails. Um, I think a pipe bomb, I think we can make those now. But it takes 10 gunpowder. We don't have a lot of gunpowder because I use most of it um, on the landmines. But those might be nice to have to... We only have 82 gunpowder left. What if we only use like four? Let's make four. Four pipe bombs. Oh, we gotta make that in there. There we go. Those don't take very long. Let's just wait for them. Um, we'll see what time it is. Uh, we'll go down. Let's go down. It's 14 o'clock. Let's grab our cement and fill in these holes. I like it that that goes into your inventory instead of gets spit spit out on the floor. Anytime that would happen, like in Minecraft or something, that stuff just spills out onto the floor. I like it that it goes into your inventory here. Uh, now, hopefully, these will start drying up uh, before the horde gets here. Hopefully, they won't dig down. And this will all be for for nothing. That's the hope, the dream, man. <laughs> that all my preparations are are overkill. Excellent. How many hit points does this have? Twenty five hundred. That's only a thousand more. And I think they took away. Um, like the scaling, how this, if you break this, it would go down to the flagstone block and then go down to the cobblestone, or it would go down to this block and then go down to the flagstone and then be broken. So basically you would have 500 from uh, the flagstone, another thousand from this, well, 1500. So that'd be 2000. And then the 2,500 from that would be 4,500 hit points. So from what I've heard, they just break uh, and they don't scale down anymore. So that's a thing. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Oh, that one is actually taking damage. Let's go ahead and upgrade those. There we go. Uh, we might want to go do the corners, but it's a little bit tricky to actually get out there. <sighs> I'm just worried that none. This isn't. I, I I can't actually get in there. There's no. There's no way to get in there because I closed it all in with the spikes. Yeah. I was going to upgrade the bottom corners. Mm. So what I think I'm going to do is maybe upgrade this cage a little bit more. And maybe as the horde starts, we'll be down here and for a little bit at least. Um, so 
I don't want to upgrade these with my cement though, so let's let's put the cement away. <laughs> don't want to accidentally upgrade them to the cement like I did with that one. I do want them to have uh, the blackstone upgrade though, because that is a thousand more hit points. Uh, and from what I've seen, it's like the second block, they go for that one, and then um, sometimes they'll climb on top of each other's heads and they'll hit these blocks, the third ones, uh, and so occasionally the fourth ones. So I'd like to get um, all of these, the third and fourth rows, uh, upgraded to at least the flagstone. Hopefully we've got enough. Uh, cobblestone rocks on us. If not, we got plenty of rocks. I got 3,800 on me. Uh, Alright, that's all the way around. Oh, we're out. Okay. Um, I think we got clay. Yeah, we got some on this. Uh, let's do like 500. go um that's oh good it's starting to dry already yes because <laughs> it's 15 o'clock almost oh my god i'm so nervous i don't think this is going to be enough we had four cops come through four cops first horde night four cops um if you push i our game stage is 82 i think that's pretty high uh, only three deaths. That was two from the cop and one from, oh, that was, that was my, my fault. I'd gotten infected and I didn't know it. And I was like, why can't I swing? I'm not swinging. I'm not killing anything. And I backed, I panicked. I backed myself into a corner and got killed by two normal zombies. Two. <sighs> little bit frustrating on that um what i might do these are a little bit damaged uh well, let's go ahead and um we'll finish this finish breaking these two and place them and upgrade them to so the flagstone i don't think these are gonna hold very long uh being just flagstone uh, but i don't want to if you push and hold R, you get this advanced uh, thing That's from Alpha 16. They added that. I liked it. Okay, let's get this one gone. Just because I don't want any damaged blocks. Um, it's a little bit late, but... We might upgrade the ones that we've upgraded to the poles and uh, leave the others as flagstones. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but we live close to a hospital and occasionally we have um, helicopters fly over. There's one flying over right now. Oh, it's, uh, it's up here. Let's go. There's only like um, three sections that have been upgraded, so it shouldn't take that long to upgrade them to cement. And I've already accidentally upgraded one. Should just take bam, bam, bam. It's funny that it takes less work to upgrade that to concrete than it does to upgrade it to uh, flagstone. But there we go, and we'll get this section over here upgraded. Hopefully that will start drying soon. Oh, um, let's go put our cement back, because we want to upgrade those, so we probably have enough. Uh, yeah, we got almost all 500 of our 
Blackstone is done so we can finish upgrading these. Hopefully, the hope is to actually upgrade all of these to cement eventually. <laughs> it's not going to happen right away though. Um, we do have another set of uh, cement down there that we can, we can start another thousand making because we got enough sand. Um, when we get done with this, let's go look. Let's go see what uh, the ammo takes. Let's look at that real quick. Ammo. It looks like you can make it in the workbench. Oh, God. I wish I'd known. Um, okay. So, this is where the, the choke is, I think. Is the bullet tips and the bullet casings. Can we make those? Uh, do we have uh, the ability? It looks like in the forge with lead and clay we can make bullet tips but um, let's go look in the forge because generally that will tell you if you look at the actual item uh, yeah here we go it requires an anvil all right um, bullet casing requires an anvil okay but I think the steel one it requires a crucible, so we can't make the really, really good ammo, but we can make ammo right now. So, <laughs> I wish I'd known that before I used most of uh, the ammunition or most of the gunpowder. But you live and you learn. We can make ammo right now. Um, we just can't make the steel. So that's, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I think we're going to be done upgrading stuff. So let's put our flagstone here. We'll get our wood frames. Um, we're going to put our wood spike traps there. Uh, clay soil. We're down a little bit. We're going to eat that can of Drink the can of miso soup. Because, <laughs> you know, miso soup is soup. You don't eat it. You drink it. Um... Let's go ahead and repair our pick, although we're probably not going to be using it uh, much. Okay, so where's our tools? Our tools are over here. I really wish I had been able to upgrade a lot more of like the the wood frames on the outside I wish that was gone yeah what am I doing wrong let's one two three four five. okay because I usually switch these two out I was trying to keep it like um, the hot bar. Actually, let's do it like this. Oh, dude. I hear a screamer. Uh-huh. And then we could put the fire axe and the shovel and then that. And then, uh, that's generally uh, frames and bandages, the last two slots. And then I switch these two out. Uh, but this is not an extra one. This is my actual one. Let's go repair the fire axe. Oh, we need, we need to... I think that... Um... Oh! <laughs> Somebody went kabooey! Where was it? There, huh? Yeah, she stepped on that landmine that was right there. Okay, so we don't have to worry about her. She's gone. 
Yes, it's all working according to plan. All right, let's go repair our fire axe. I think it's taken enough uh, damage to use one steel. There we go. Um, also, let's put this away. Uh, so, let's get our lead and our brass. We'll put that. Uh, no, we'll save that for later. Let's get our lead and our brass going. We have clay in here already. And this only takes like a cup, like a second per each one. So six, that's 10 minutes. I think it should be done in, in 10 minutes. I don't know that we'll be able to craft any before it's time though, before. Okay, we did get a point. Let's go ahead and look. See if there's something useful. I think um, we can't put any more points into this until we get perception five. That will give us 20% extra. It will be, give us another 5% extra ranged weapon damage, which I think that's across the board, across uh, bows and guns. Uh, that's what I would assume that it's two. Um, we're going to start out with guns and, and go hard and heavy at them. Um, this would be good once you get to level three because you get a bonus to loot. Um, but those are wasted right now. So... I'm thinking the point might be best spent in Perception 5. Um, this will be for the blow, the bow, which won't be, well, this is interesting. I think, um, I don't know what explosive weapons, is that like the pipe bombs and the Molotov cocktails? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't specify. But I, that's what I think it is. Um, it would be nice also to get the headshot damage, but that's only if you hit it in the head. This is if you hit it anywhere. So I think that's where I'm gonna put my point. Let's put it there, be done with it. Oh, we can get another, Ooh, because we're level, what, what level are we? 45, 46, 46. All right. Um, how many bullet casings can we make? 76. Let's craft them up and craft up what bullet tips we can make too. We're gonna try and make um, as much of uh, the 7.62 millimeter for our super awesome uh, sniper rifle, uh, which it's 17. Um, we are going to put this repair kit on us for, uh, that weapon as well, because, um, we're probably not going to need the pickaxe or the axe, um, This is gonna take the same ammo as our marksman rifle. Actually, can I, um... Let's... Oh, it's a level one, so I can't, uh... It doesn't have any in it. Oh, it looks like it had the, the really good stuff equipped. But I think I used this one, so yeah, it's got 30 rounds in there. Let's change that. 
get that out. So that's good. Uh, shotgun. Let's get a, a shotgun. We don't have that much ammo. And we might actually use that repair kit to repair. Probably not going to need the hunting knife. So we'll leave the bow, <laughs> all these range things, and our, our hammer of doom. Um, we're going to have to repair this. Uh, we do have a lot of the ammo, so I do want to repair that a little bit. So yeah, that gives us 110 7.62s, uh, a bunch of those, not so much shotgun shells, but we're going to make up as much I think it takes three gunpowder per combine for those uh, 7.62s. We'll just make up what we can. That's all we can do. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and get more of those crafting. Make up what we can up here to our workbench and just craft up whatever we can with what gunpowder we have. <sighs> okay, so that would be under ammo. There we go. Just favored it. 13. That's not a lot. Holy cow. <laughs> it's, not, it's more than what we had, but it's not a lot. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so, let's put a little of that over there. We'll stick our extra bullets there. Wow. Okay, let's go to our tool chest and stick our pickaxe and our axe there. And our hunting knife. Uh, no, let's keep the hunting knife on us in case there are dogs or something. And how do you make repair kits? Because I don't feel good not having any extra. A forged iron, a oil, a cloth, and a duct tape. Ah, so let's maybe make a couple of those. Four. Um... Four. What's a cloth, I think? And a forged iron, so we need four forged iron. Bah! And then, um, I guess we'll start getting, like, some medical supplies on us. We got the nine, uh, I don't think we'll use that much, honestly. Make four of those, that'll be good. Um, all right. Okay. We've got plenty of arrows. What we want to do is get some food. Um, we're really low on bacon and eggs. Have, have we gotten any eggs? Because uh, I, would, I would really like to have bacon and eggs. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit of stuff up here. I would like some better drink, but yeah, we have a little bit of chrysanthemum. Let's go ahead and grab, grab that, make up um, a little bit of bacon and eggs. That's way more fuel than what we need. We're going to put these bottles away. Okay. 
Um, maybe we'll grab a couple of those guys if we need it. Um, a couple of painkillers. Um, what does this do? It gives you a strength, a fortitude, and agility. That would give us um, more hit points, more damage, melee-wise, and agility, more stamina. It does take away our water, but it increases our healing and our stamina per second, um, which is basically more damage because we can shoot, shoot things more. Or maybe, what does the steroids do? That's just uh, three strength and 50 carrying capacity. That's kind of nice, but we're not going to be carrying a whole lot. Um, if this gave... Pr oh! What? Ah! Oh, I was thinking what we might want to do since we're going to probably not be able to loot anything. I think they're down here. Um, maybe we'll switch our goggles out. Is it in here? Yes. For our shades. Uh, so we'll get the plus two perception versus the plus uh, loot and crafting time. That'll be a little bit of help. Oh, let's go back in here. And just in case, we will repair up our gear i think uh, like this is pretty jacked let's repair it um our leg armor that we got last episode is jacked let's repair that this one's um pretty good shape i wish we had some better boots but we don't so eventually i'm sure we'll either be able to make can we make military Military boots. Those are crafted in the workbench. What? What? What do you have to have to make it? Uh, ah. Level four. So int nine, which is player level eighty, <laughs> will be able to craft our boots. <laughs> Um, so yeah, don't hold your breath on that one. Um, it's 18 o'clock. We got, uh, 999. Seriously. I wish there was something less, uh, that I could do that with. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got a thousand sand up top and we have over 2,000 rock on us. So let's go ahead and get that started because I'm sure we're going to need it for repairs in the morning ah, I'm so scared <sighs> all right we still have 2,000 rocks right yeah we got 3,300 yeah digging down um it's pretty good. I can dig uninterrupted for a good long while in the middle of the night. Uh, getting tons of rock that way. Okay, so we're going to keep that on us. And we're going to keep the rest of this concrete on us uh, for repairs. Hopefully we won't need it. Come on. If you go side to side while you're on the ladder, it kind of, I, I guess it scoots you just enough. Okay, let's get our food and our drink. Didn't we have another one? Let's get that other one. I'm going to eat that cat food. It was disgusting, but we're just down a little bit. I'm going to be topped off as much as possible, and I didn't want to eat a bacon and eggs because that's not very much. Okay, I am going to, just in case, 
I'm gonna have a big boy sham chowder and a meat stew. Oh uh, no, maybe not the meat stew, but that gives us 80 health for that, uh, which is awesome. How much health does, does this give? This gives 90 health. No. That, holy crap, that gives 180. We don't even have 180. That would be mostly wasted. Uh, how much does this give? I guess 40 health. I think we'll probably try to use that. Uh, although this doesn't take hydration, and this does. So we got some extra drink on us in case we have to pop a pill. <sighs> It's 19 o'clock. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do. We got two more game hours. Um, I think I'm going to put the wood frames up. And maybe use the pipe bombs first as they're getting stuck in our traps. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and be up top, um, and we'll tr we'll stand out on our corners and uh, throw some pipe bombs at them. I've never actually used these before. Maybe we'll even put both of these over here and have a little fun to start out. Let's make sure all our weapons are locked and loaded. Shotgun bang! Good. Excellent. Oh, that one's ready. Uh, one's always ready. Um, I would have. Let's try to see if we can before the horde comes. Oh, because we still got till 2200. It's only two hours. 22 to 2400. Um, actually, it's not 2400. It's zero o'clock. It'll be zero o'clock. Uh, so, I noticed that we could actually make a compound bow, but this one's only level one. Oh, there's our extra bullets. <laughs> Eleven of them. Uh, here's the compound bow. Scrap, polymer, leather, glue, duct tape, plant fibers. Wow, yeah, we got all that stuff. One duct tape. I think it was two glue. I don't remember how much polymer it was. Fifteen. Uh, so... What was it that we needed? Um, leather. <laughs> I am dumb. And my brain just doesn't want to work sometimes. So this is going to be like level three, I think. I'm really happy about finding that marksman rifle. I love the sniper rifle. I know it's called the marksman rifle. I guess the uh, sniper rifle is a little bit um, sort of a negative connotation. Uh, whereas marksman is a little bit more positive. Whereas sniper is like, you know, sneaky, sneaky, gonna, you know, assassinate people. Oh, it's level four. <laughs> That is amazing. Okay, so we don't really have any mods for that. Um, let's go ahead and put that one there. We can sell this one off. They sell for pretty good. Four ninety four, or maybe we might repair it beforehand. 
I don't know. These are 260. Is it just for one or is that all four? I think it's all four. Okay, so 65 would definitely uh, increase that price a bit. And I think we might just save up uh, some loot. Like, get all these hunting rifles. Maybe we'll uh, repair those guys up and sell them. So hopefully, um, I'm hoping they come from this side because this side has the concrete uh, poles and I'll get the best visibility uh, and I can actually swing my, my hammer at them down there as well as shoot them. Uh, but I did notice that I could actually swing my hammer through these guys too. So that they do come at a different direction, I will be able to swing them. It's just it's harder to hit if they're, you know, if they're standing on the opposite side here. It's, it's really hard to hit them there. But this should give me much more uh, visibility of them and, and, and the ability to hit, whack them. <laughs> Play whack-a-mole. I don't think we have any more small food. Um. And I think it's um just water. I think it's um, one for two, but just in case, uh, where's the cornbread? Oh, good. So I will get eight, eight out of that. So we can have a little bit. I think that gives four, four, um, four hunger. I mean, four max stamina. And then like a couple health, but uh, we should be able to eat that up. Yum, yum. There we go. Uh, let's check our thirst station. We're at 100%. What was that? We can make hobo stew now. Well, we just gotta have the potatoes and the corn. So that's good. We can make like 10 of those. I've never seen those before. Let's actually see. We got a little bit of time. We got two corn, um, two potatoes. Let's grab 10 of those guys. Doesn't it take a water to? I think so. does a hobo stew make eight minutes holy crap Ola <laughs> it takes eight minutes you gotta cook the rotten flesh significantly uh, in order to make it somewhat edible eight minutes for one of those <sighs> that's crazy that's good that better be some freaking fantastic food do I got my headlight on? I guess I do. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's getting close. It's getting close. I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. oh, let's make sure we're loaded here on our bow. The first horde was a lot worse than I thought. It's a lot harder to deal with the running zombies. Um, although, with them not running around in circles, it's a lot better. I'm so glad they worked on that. 
Um, that does make it a lot better. Um, they still kind of go crazy a little bit when they run around, but they're not running around in a circle. <sighs> I'm curious to see what the, what the heck that food is like. Now, um, oh wait, that's not what I want. I wanted this. So we got a, the glasses say they give you two. But I think I'm only getting this one because it's, uh, this one's locked behind player level 50. So it's, I think it's like those magazines that you read where you have to have it unlocked in order to get the benefit. So that might be why we're only getting one point of perception and we're not getting the second one. Because you gotta be player level 50 to get access to that. So if we were 50, I'm pretty sure this would be available to us. That's my understanding of the logic behind it. Uh, so I'm glad we didn't we we didn't have to actually spend that point. We could have just put these glasses on, and we probably would have gotten that one free, and we could have spent our point um, probably in in headshot. I think would be good because I'm gonna be sniping me some zombies. And this doesn't even have a, a scope on it. I like it that uh, I could have an SMG and, and put a scope on it. You know, you know when I get Yeah Science 2, I'm putting a scope on that. <laughs> Make me put on the shotgun. <sighs> and we can't get that until int 7. And we can't get int 7 until 50. So level 50... I got a scope in there. I got a scope mod. Although it's like an eight times scope. Oh no, that's level three. So, oh man. I wonder, what does this actually do? Modify the trigger group to fire similar auto only. I don't know what that means. So like if I put it on my sniper rifle, will it do? I'd be able to just hold the trigger and go bap, 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 bam. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, we might have to try it sometime. Oh, it's getting dark and spooky. <sighs> um, what I want to do is, yeah, let's maybe come out that way, but we're gonna get our stuff oh man i want to see the suit man that's gonna be it's got five more minutes uh i don't know what that means in game time oh we got some more gunpowder you know what that means I'm gonna make more bullets with the wrong box we could make like 12 more bullets guys let's do it 17 more. Yeah. Oh, it used it all. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Gonna get me some sniping gun. Doo -doo. Uh, wow, that, that uh, is really... Look how small the targeting thing is on the bow versus the sniper rifle. But when you when you uh, right click it goes way smaller see how that one goes close but this one goes oh they're really really close this one isn't as good as the the bow and i would say this one's like even worse yeah, that doesn't even change <laughs> for the shotgun. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go see. <laughs> Three and a half minutes. I gotta see this food. What What is the hobo stew like that it takes ten rotting flesh? Oh no! No, no, you ruin everything! It's a freaking wandering horde! Jeez. You 
gotta be freaking kidding me. Coming right to this corner. Dang it. I can't hit her. Alright, let's turn the light on. Man, I'm just, what is going on? There we go. Shit. This couldn't have come at a worse freaking time. It's about to be freaking 22 o'clock. Ah, oh, she stood up. Oh, they're going to ruin everything. They're going to make a pathway. The guys are going to come right in. You know what? Oh, how'd I throw it? Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's just go down. Hey, stupid See what I mean? I got a very small. Oh, my God. Oh no, Jesus! No! Oh my God! They're coming through already. You're gonna have to go up. He's a feral dude. Oh, look, he just dropped him. Freaking bag. Amazing. Where's the horde coming from? It sounds like they're coming from back here. Shit. Okay. So they're coming from back here. That's just freaking awesome. Just amazing. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, things, stuff and things are happening. Oh, that looked like a... Oh, that's the shotgun. That's not my sniper rifle. No wonder I couldn't hit this stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't hit Macy! What the? Oh, it's a vulture. Come here, stupido. He's only gonna... There he comes. I hit you! Oh, you little pecker! Come back! You made me hit Basie!
Oh, they're killing Basie. I know that vulture's still out there. Okay, he was a feral. Where are these guys at? We got one, one normal bullet left. Let's see guys stop acting like idiots and calm down. Right there, we're done with that one. Uh, Broke base me. Don't break my base, please. <laughs> There's so many stuff and things. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's see. I don't think we can do that through the- oh, he's on fire! Uh, fire gone. Can't reload while you're zoomed. I don't think he's dead. He is now! down. Whoa! Stupid vulture! I hate those things. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna take your bones and put you in a stew! Think about that, huh? Twelve hundred for the army. Oh, there's a barrel. Barrel barrel. I don't know if it's a barrel barrel. Can't reload while you zoomed. Shouldn't have taken that shot because he was uh for that guy. We got one more shot before we gotta reload. Okay, it doesn't reload unless you try to fire it. Oh, 
It automatically re reloads, but only if you try to fire it while you're out. Oh, he's still, he's still going. Not anymore! Oh my god, it's a cough! He's a- Oh jeez! Not a good thing! Not a good thing! Bad things are happening! Where'd he go? Oh shoot! Oh, he's gonna run, he's gonna explode. No, I think we might have actually killed him. Let's drag them over here where we got the spikes. They're so squirrely. Two levels. Oh! <laughs> that dude had a bad day. Get our Molotov cocktails off and fill this hole. Definitely do not want to wind up down there. Oh, that's the wrong weapon. Oh, this one looks like, uh... No, come back! Oh, that one's a, like a green one. He's green. Alright, let's, uh, let's drag these guys over to where we got spikes. Come on, guys, over here! Oh, he moved! You made me miss! For that you shall pay. With your life. There's a dog. The dogs will die pretty, pretty fast on the spikes. I think this was the last wave. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! There's another car. I 
don't know if this is the horde or just a freaking wandering horde. That's uh, it's usually over. I hear the stupid vulture around. Dogs. Come on, we need to I need to get them over here. Vulture, where are you? Oh, that's a freaky sound! I gotta get them around to a side that has spikes. I think they're in. We're just gonna have to look. I think they're underneath. I died. Oh. And I'm going to be downstairs without any weapons. Oh no, I'm bleeding still.
Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say. We should be over with this. It should have ended at midnight. And now there's there's another zombie. I'm not even awake. Power attack! Power attack! Oh, and there's a dog that just magically appeared out of the fireplace. Oh, look! Look at them! They're just jumping out of the fireplace. What do you? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Let's say spawn near my bed. Okay, um, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's, uh, make a wooden club. It's better than nothing, right? On, Nikki, get out of the way. Go, go. I don't know. Yeah, I know I need. Uh, oh, let's. How's our hunger? We're not down a whole lot, but let's go ahead and eat up. Why is my health though? My health's not going up because I don't have any freaking bandages. Well, that's just freaking great. Ah, uh, that has got to be some kind of bug. They're like coming down through the freaking fireplace. I think it's clear up here. Um, what to do? We don't really have, uh, we have a compound bow. Let's just use the bow. Uh, maybe get an ax. I wish I had a hammer. Okay, things went terrible. Um, oh yeah, bandage. Uh, we might need more than one. I don't know if that stacks. Let's give that a second to go up before we head down there. See if it stops. <sighs> All right, I don't know if me like spawning over by the trader has caused them to maybe despawn. Let's go ahead and use this up. My first bag is up here in the corner. Yeah, let's get that. That's where all the goodies are. I don't know what killed them. So I'm going to take your bones and your rotting flesh. And I placed a 
Oh, look at that. That's why they were coming from the fireplace. They started digging down. Or the cop exploded. Something like that. Anyway, <laughs> the episode was running a little bit long because it lasted till 2 o'clock. Uh, yeah, I had a little uh, thing there where they got into the base. Definitely going to have to reinforce that with uh, concrete. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff and things. Um, like, subscribe. Leave a comment. Bye.